Australia is on a roll when it comes to future electric air taxi services. After presenting the first EV tall designed and built domestically, a new collaboration is now paving the way for the country's first network of dedicated airports for EV tall, known as Vertiports. It's said that when a door closes, another one opens. This could turn out to be true, and not just wishful thinking, for Australia's automotive industry. If building cars is no longer successful here, why not switch to building flying cars? Commonly known as air taxis, these small-capacity aircraft that are entirely electric are on the verge of revolutionizing air mobility. And Australia is free to seize the opportunity. A large property developer who also happens to own the former Ford and Holden manufacturing plants in South Australia and Victoria, has big plans. What if these old assembly factories started making flying cars instead of conventional ones? Polygraph seems to believe that there's a great opportunity for the country to play an important role in the emerging eVTOL sector. Perhaps it's time to move on from the local car manufacturing industry to a new mobility segment and a new vision. In addition to this ambitious plan of repurposing its manufacturing plants, the property developer has also initiated a collaboration with a domestic eVTOL infrastructure expert, Skyports. Together, they plan to set up an entire network of vertiports, which would be the first of its kind in the country. The urban air mobility race is in full swing, no vertiport has been officially launched anywhere. Yet, certain places in the US and in Europe are already far ahead, compared to Australia. But even if it came late to the party, Australia has the potential to become an eVTOL industry hub for the entire Asia-Pacific market. The upcoming network will start with existing airports and helipads, and then extend to various locations in urban areas, from shopping centers and business parks to industrial sites. Skyports has even partnered with operators such as Secure Parking, which will provide access to hundreds of car parking garages. It's best to work with what's already in place and try to make room for air taxis. Until recently, the only eVTOL that could be considered for operating at these future vertiports were foreign ones. Luckily, things changed this year, with the successful maiden flight of the first electric VTOL made domestically. There's no date set up for the official debut of the country's first vertiport, but the first Vertaya eVTOL is expected to be delivered in 2026. By the end of the decade, Australia could be well on its way to establishing a successful UAM industry.